Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Auto Ranch. Uh, thanks for joining me this afternoon. We're going to talk about my 22 Golf R and some different wheels and tires that I put on this vehicle recently. I know a lot of you in the VW community, particularly the GTI and our owners, you know, this is a common thing. You know, the factory rims are not bad looking rims, but they're probably not, you know, everyone likes to customize their car and maybe they're not the best looking. Um, anyways, this is my, like I said, 22 Golf R. Uh, I'll put some pictures up of the rims, you know, that are a little bit highlight, a little bit better than being in the garage. Um, but these are uh, Enki uh, tuning, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's either Rajan or Rajan, uh, 19 inch wheels. These, you know, these come and they make these in an 18 inch wheel as well as a 19. The 18s have some different uh, finishes that are different than the 19s. In the 19s, you either get sort of this hyper silver, I think they call it, or, or the black. Um, this car originally came, you know, with the standard Golf R rims in the United States, which are like a black and polished, you know, wheel. They're actually not a bad looking wheel. I think if they had gone with one or the other, made them all black, uh, like they did maybe on the 20th, 20th anniversary car, they probably would have looked a little better than having the, having the polish mixed in there too. Uh, but again, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Everyone has a different opinion. I don't think they're a bad looking rim. Uh, so anyways, you know, as you know, these, the, the Golf R's come with, they come with summer tires. So if you live in Ohio or somewhere up north like I do, you know, you gotta, if you're gonna drive this car every day, like, it is my daily driver and you know, you're gonna have to replace those tires with some sort of winter setup and so I figured well since I wasn't crazy about the look of the factory rims I'd go ahead and replace them uh, with these NQ uh, wheels as well as change out the tires uh, mine came mine actually had a good set had the good year I think they were F1 uh, super sports if I'm not if I remember right uh, is what was on it from the factory uh, yeah, F1 Super Sports, uh, which is good. It was a good summer tire, and and the vehicle definitely drove well with those. Um, but again, I I, need, I wanted something to be all year round, so I you know I put what I consider, and, and also a tire rack. You know, they do some extensive studies and reviews and have a lot of numbers behind this. I put you know I went ended up going with the Continental Extreme Contact W uh, or DWS 06 Pluses. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a mouthful. Um, but these, you know, these are probably the highest rated uh, all-season performance tire that they offer. Uh, they're reasonably priced. They're about $240, $250 a tire. Um, and, you know, they, they've got a good tread. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. See if I can light it up a little bit for you so you can see the tread pattern. But it's, it's actually a pretty, it's still a pretty aggressive tread pattern. Yeah. Uh, for, but it's still kind of it's got an all-season rubber so it it will allow you to uh, You know, there's always a trade-off with all season and performance, you know, you have to You give up some of the traction, but for the season ability to be able to use it year-round, so I think they're a good tire. I put I'll probably put a couple hundred miles on it only so far But I you know, you, you definitely lose some of the handling like I said that you had with the factory summer tire But but it's not I don't know Unless you're doing really auto crossing or something, I'm not sure you're going to notice as much, especially with the all with the all wheel drive. I think it's a good tire setup. Uh, the rims, I got those from Tire Rack as well. Uh, I think they were three hundred dollars at the time. Now they're, I think they're three and a quarter. Uh, they're they're the same size as the factory rims, 19 by eight with a 45 millimeter offset. Uh, and, and you know tire rack and again I, I'm not sponsored by tire rack or paid anything from them I've had uh, good experiences with them with tires I think they're one of the more favorably priced tire places usually will beat the local places um, but and I did do a review that you can check out on my channel uh, on their mobile installation service I had, I had actually had these installed by their mobile installation service um, 
and they, you know, they, they did a good job. Review. I also had them do uh, rims on my uh, Boss Mustang and 92 Nissan Sentra, which only has 400 miles on it. So those cars were not a lot of room for error on those rims uh, when the tires were swapped out, and, and they did a good job. But again, you can check that out. But I, I did want to share these. I I do think it's a good uh, all weather combination. Again, there's other wheels you know that you can find, but I think these tires uh, are certainly a good option, uh, particularly for a lot of us who are having to replace these. I get why the manufacturers they put those summer tires on there to improve their handling numbers in the magazines. You know, if one does it and the others don't you know, they look like they're the poor performer in handling because tires are significant, as you know. Uh, you know, a good summer tire is going to definitely outperform an all-season tire. So, you know, if you're bringing your Golf R's and your WRX's, and, and actually this goes back, it's a lot that started with the with the Ford uh, Fiesta ST as well as the, uh, the Ford, what's the other one, the Ford Focus. The RS and the ST, those they started shipping those years ago with with summer tires, and you know these poor guys were buying these things. Little did they know they were going to have to spend a thousand bucks to swap out the tires as soon as they as soon as the weather turned in the winter. So uh, we all know that. I think in the in the golf community, it's just you know, and and some people really change it up. You know, I see a lot of you do some pretty cool stuff with with rims for the winter, uh, t change your total design. But I wanted to share this one. Um, and also give reference to the tire rack installation that made it a lot easier and I, I felt a lot more comfortable. I'm kind of a very uh, OCD guy when it comes to having stuff installed. So anyways, that's really all I wanted to share today. Uh, hopefully you found that useful in, in the pictures. At least it'll give you an idea of one possible setup. Obviously there's countless things you can do, do with these. So. The one thing I did want to point out before I close is that really actually made this not an expensive upgrade to do was actually I was able to sell my factory Golf R rims with the uh, summer tires on them. And, and again, they only had a few hundred miles on them, so they were near new. You know, I put those up on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, and, and honestly, they sold within a few hours for close to $2,000. Um and maybe I should have asked more, but it seemed like people were getting around that or a little less. Uh, but that, you know, when you figure that cost to, to then put on new rims and, and the all-season performance tires, you know, it really was only a few hundred dollar uh, upgrade. So that was a nice deal that, you know, there is a good aftermarket desire for those factory rims. So I just wanted to point that out. Thank you for watching and uh, listening to the video today. If you found the content beneficial, um, and something that you know could probably help you down the road. Uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the other videos, uh, including the full review I did on my Golf R. Uh, that would be appreciated, and I uh, truly appreciate uh, you listening and watching the videos. Thank you again.